All right, everybody, I just got back from seeing John Wick 4, and Jesus, I have to tell you, this movie is nothing short of fucking amazing. Um, I'm going to get into some spoilers in there, so if you haven't seen it um, and you don't want to hear about this stuff, go ahead and shoot me a like and subscribe, and then come back later because this is going to be awesome to talk about, and I'm so excited. So here we go. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, so John Wick 4. Four. Okay, so at this point, I don't need to do a rundown about what this movie is about or what John Wick is about. Uh, we just know that already that it's John Wick. He's trying to get out of, you know, being from under the high table and having to carry out these assassins, uh, assassinations. We already know that, right? But it's, it's, we're still trying to answer the, the story of how does John Wick do, do this? How does he get out of, um, you know, serving this high table Something that he just got out for because of his wife, Helen, uh, out of love. Um, I don't want to give too much away, so I'm going to try to pick my words, you know, carefully. But first and foremost, the choreography in this movie deserves a nomination because there's things in this movie that I have not seen um, in any John Wick movie or, you know, in any kind of action movie for quite a while. And that's what and that's what's pretty amazing about this movie. Um, it really is a straight up awesome action film. There's probably about, you know, with every movie that, you know, you go see in the theaters, there's about like maybe 20 minutes, um, maybe 30 minutes of, of intro lead in time before they actually get to the actual like shooting and all the stuff that people really like go to see all the exciting stuff. Um, but what this movie did was it had all those main elements, but then it also had a great story behind it. Um, the, the, the way that a lot of the choreography was going on was was amazing. I said it earlier. There's a scene, and again, spoilers, and it's not really about the story spoilers. It's just how cool the choreography was. Like there's a scene where this, this guy gets hit by a car, rolls off the car, but then John Wick shoots him at the same time. Now, there's a lot of little like scenes like that that go on um, that people might not really pay attention to because like things are happening so so fast. Um, but there, there's things like that, like if you really, really pay attention, you're gonna pick up on those things and you're gonna be like, holy crap, how did they do that, right? So this movie has that throughout. It introduces a couple of new characters, um, you know, Donnie Yen's character, that plays Kane, um, obviously the main assassin that's going out after John Wick. Uh, um, then you have, I, I forget the gentleman's name. He come, He's like one of my favorite actors. He played Scorpion recently in, in the Mortal Kombat film. Um, he, he was in the, the Last Samurai. That gentleman, he's such a, a great, um, like, you know, one of my favorite actors and I don't know his name. But anyways, um, yeah, he, he's in there. Um, they introduced his daughter. Uh, there was a, a nice nod at the end of the movie to Lance Reddick, RIP, Mr. Zavala. Um, everybody from Bill Skarsgård did an outstanding job. It really becomes, um, it really it became like an environment, right? Like uh, you start off with John Wick 1, you don't really know what the high table is. Then you go into John Wick 2, you know, and then you go into John Wick 3 and then things are like a little bit more expanding. And then this one, I kind of feel like they hit the umbrella with it. And, uh, it, and if they're gonna do a part five, I wonder where do you go from here? Because the way it ended and the, oh, here's another thing, stay for the end credit. A lot of John Wick fans left the theaters when, um, you know, we were there, uh, the, the stay for the end credit anyways. But I think they hit the umbrella with this and, and it's like, where do you go from here? Um, and, I, and if they don't make another John Wick, I would understand why. And I would kind of appreciate it because like every time that there's a new John Wick movie, it seems like, oh, we got to one up this one. Oh, we got to one up this one. And then, I, I, you know, it kind of becomes a little bizarre, you know, and it's like, OK, how are you going to invent new ways to choreograph um, people getting killed? Right. And then how long are you going to stretch the story of John Wick trying to get out? Right. So I, I really think that this might be the last one. Um, but if not, then I don't know what they're going to do. They'd have to come up with something big. Um, but yeah, no, the, the movie was great. Uh, there was a, there was a fight scene in there that, that I was just like, what the hell? Like somebody, I don't want to give it away because if you see it, you're going to be like, Oh, somebody died. Like somebody died, like really pretty brutal. And, uh, there, you know, there were times in the theaters where people laughed, um, not so much cried because it's not a boohoo movie. They laughed. They, they, um, 
you know, it, it, it was it was a very good weekend movie, I have to say. Um, go see this movie, man. There's really nothing I can say that's negative. If I did have to say something that was negative, uh, uh, it's, uh, in, as much I was boasting about the choreography in terms of the fighting, there were some times in there that I was I was thinking to myself like Jesus like this this is crap and and what I mean by that is it's kind of like that Batman v Superman scene where where it's like the nightmare scene and you see some guys just like laying down on the floor and then all of a sudden they pop up and they want to start fighting like the, like that kind of stuff um, was was pretty uh, it happened a couple of times in this movie and I was just like Meh. I'll let it slide because it's John Wick right. Uh, there's a there's a fight scene that's one shot and it it literally takes place over like like an aerial shot amazing the uh, cinematography was amazing uh, uh and and that scene was 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 like it blew my mind i looked like it looked like i was looking at a video game and that was that was pretty amazing i got to say um i know i'm using the word amazing a lot but i mean that's really what this movie was it was pretty fucking amazing and 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 again it's not one of those films that you're going to see getting nominated for an Oscar or anything like that. Sound soundtrack was amazing. I loved it. Um, <laughs> there's a, there's a kind of, okay. So something with the soundtrack, I know I'm kind of like everywhere, but it's because I was so excited to like come and talk about this, uh, this movie. Uh, the, 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 one of the other things that kind of bothered me was, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit over the, the, the dance scenes where John Wick is going through the crowd and, 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 um, you know bang 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 and and it's it's weird because there's bang bangs right <laughs> and nobody like flinches everybody's like oh cool yeah woo right party but but like it's it's also like the, the 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 soundtrack being played it's like a kind of i don't know what you call it like a edm kind of music i guess and then um you know you know you know what i'm talking about like the club scene you know everybody just dancing uh, uh yeah, there was one part where they were like doing that. I'm kind of over that with John Wick. Like, let's do something different because how many clubs are you going to go to? You've already been to Italy. You've been to Paris. You've been to Berlin, you know, in America. You've been, you know, everywhere. And it's always like, oh, let's just have a shoot them up in a in a in a bar or in a club scene. Like, OK, we, we got it right. For me, I'm over that. But not that's not to say that those scenes are not amazing because they are amazing. They're, they're fucking amazing. Um, it's just kind of like, we've already seen it. Let's do something else, you know? Um, but that's, that's pretty much it, man. I only have two, two real bad, not bad, but just things that I just kind of was like, oh, me about, but other than that, pretty, pretty solid follow up to, um, one, two, and three. Uh, if I had to say my personal favorite out of all of them, um, well, obviously it's going to be number one because it launched everything. But out of the two, three, and four, my favorite still is number three. Um, this one is a close second, but number three was is is my um, my favorite one. And, and a lot of people are saying that this is like the best John Wick, which I'm not gonna say it's not, because you can very well make that case because of what I just saw. Um, but for me, three just like had everything in it, and like he was running for his life. Uh, you, you, you saw different ways of killing the horse scene, like everything was just amazing in that. And this just seriously kicked it up a notch. Um, I, I don't know what to say without spoiling too much. I don't want to spoil anything too much. Uh, I did feel for Donnie Yen's character, you know, and it's funny because these assassins are always like, um, I understand and They're very short worded with like, you know, John. Yeah. And, um, I guess, or, you know, whatever, you know, that <laughs> how he says, but it's kind of like a code between them. They're like, hey, this isn't personal. I still love you as a bro, but I got to kill you. Uh, so I hope you understand. And in most cases, they're not. They do and they, you know, they do what they got to do. But um, yeah, everyone. Great movie. Y'all are going to love it. I swear. And if y'all don't like this movie, I'm very curious as to why. I will say it, it felt a little long because um, I think it's like two hours and 30 minutes. But other than that. It, it's a pretty solid weekend flick. It's a pretty solid date night movie flick. Um, yeah, go see it, man. It, it's really good. It's really, really good. Surprise me. Really excited. So that being said, guys, I hope you go see it and I hope you like it and share the same feelings with me. But if not, feel free to let me know in the comments. But then also, you know, shoot me a like and subscribe. Uh, helps the channel. 
and I like doing this. It's fun. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Have a great weekend, and um, we'll catch you next weekend. Later, guys. Bye.